you thought today was a good day. Uh, you know, we put together a pretty good stretch this week. You know, four practices that were you know, pretty pretty intense, even though the first couple were just in, in elements. But you know, just the the approach to the work uh, here, the last two, you know, being in pads, you know, got got a chance to uh, really work on the fundamentals and you know, have add a little physicality to uh, to what we're doing. You know, continuing to build from that foundation. Um, I was really pleased with what I see, and you know, there's some. Competitive, uh, some competitive moments where you know, guys are still you know, working to make sure we're maintaining the control of our uh, emotions, as well as you know making sure that we're taking the proper steps to, to, to continue to prove with the little things. And that's something that um, has been been a, a constant message throughout. But you know, I feel like we're really uh, much further along, and you see guys competing with each other, not just against each other. And you know, we still. Uh, so we got you know, a lot of work to do, but uh, you know, I think that we're you know, we're seeing good flashes on both sides of the ball. A lot of young players, a lot of newcomers, um, you know, experienced players that look you know, much much better throughout their their growth and development, and um, you know, that's what we have to see. And, you know, now guys get a, a little bit of a, a stretch. Um, you know, they have spring break at, spring break this week. Um, you know, an opportunity to to rest up, and uh, you know, opportunity to to be able to. You kind of reflect on the first four days. And we get back you know, here this this uh, this next week, and then we'll have a pretty good stretch of three practices a week, um, which will you know allow us to really uh, you know refine and, and uh, you know pour into uh, these next steps uh, through spring ball. What we need to get accomplished. Micah Pittman seemed to provide a couple of those flashes today, including the one where he laid out for the no, ball. Just what has he done through four days? No, I mean he's, he's he's growing, and you know, anytime you come from a, a little bit of a different offense, I mean, there's some uh, some of the nuances that you have to uh, adjust to, and he's still working through that. Uh, his, uh, I, I appreciate you know his energy and focus and investment of, of trying to, to get things done uh, the way we're trying to do we're trying to, to do them and you're seeing that confidence which is emerging uh, you know he's got playmaking ability that's something that, that's shown up throughout these last few days you know I don't two unbelievable catches one in the back end zone um, you know one that he you know, completely laid, laid out for uh, you know is impressive to see and uh, you know, we need we need that you know cons consistent competition at, at that at that spot but it's good to see you know, these newcomers you know Building in their confidence of what we're asking them to do. Do you think the returning guys picked up their game? It seemed like 88 and 21 today. That's a really nice play. Yeah, they, they did, and up their game. yeah, and you know that's a that's the thing. I know we talked about it at the beginning of spring. I mean, those guys are both young players. I mean, they they're they're two years into the program, going into year three. This is where you should see see you know, strides. I mean, you know, with, with Darion and Kentron, you know, you know they. Kentron only played a couple years of high school football. I mean, he was, you know, he's he, he is just now coming to into his own. You know, you know Darion the same thing had a, had a devastating knee injury his senior year in high school. You know, coming in here now, it's you see that confidence that's continuing to grow. Uh, you know, those plays that that, uh, that that we believe they can make. You know, they're starting to be more consistent making them. But uh, you know, it's, uh, it's it's good to see for sure. Corey ran in that category. Yeah, Corey had a couple of great plays today. I mean, you know. Uh, Corey, everybody knows he's got great speed, but you know, seeing him, you know, in the, you know, trusting his tracks in the hole, a lot of people around him, you know, being able to have the, the, uh, the, the suddenness of movements and change of direction, uh, you know, I thought, I thought there was, uh, you know, I, I see some great strides that he's making. You know, Rodney Hill had a couple of great plays today that I was uh, excited to see him kind of get in the space. Uh, you know, I, I like that running back room, and uh, you know, from. I know we talked about you know really all of them throughout the course of the week, but you know from Trey Benson, Rodney Hill, those newcomers, and then you know getting Corey where he's starting to build in his confidence. I mean that, that can be a fun fun group to watch. How have you seen Amari and build off the really strong finish with the rest of the season? Yeah, you know I mean he's you know that, he's a young man that uh, you know you look back to last year and you know he wasn't you know, as he got here in the summer and then you know he had. I was I want to say it was three weeks right at the beginning of the camp where he wasn't available, so it really kind of you know. To say, to say stun his growth, it really delayed the progress uh, just for him to understand what to do. And then you saw that grow and emerge towards the back part of the season, uh, you know, playing very confident you know, here uh, at, the, at the start of spring, uh, you know, still continuing to, to focus on the consistency of those fundamentals and just trusting you know, the things that he sees, building that, that uh, football knowledge. But you know, I think the sky's the limit for him and really uh, pleased with his, his development. Coach, what's your message before the players go off for spring break where they're going to you know, be exposed to, uh, they're not in your structure. Right yeah, now. well, I mean, that's part of when you when you build those habits of what, you know, how you live and what you do, it doesn't matter where you are. It's whether you're home, away, 
you know, being a college football player, I mean, there's there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make. Uh, you know, we talk about that all the time. I mean, these guys, uh, you know, they've got to they've got to make the choice whether they're here, whether they're away. I mean, you know, make, doing everything in their power so that when we get back here, um, you know, a, a week from now, that they're that they're going to be ready to go out there and be the best that they can possibly be. Um, you don't get to just press pause and forget about it. It's a, it's, I mean, being a, to, to be an elite player, to be an elite team, you got to be willing to sacrifice at an elite level, you know, 365 days a year. And, um, you know, I hope they go and enjoy some time off. I hope they get to enjoy, uh, you know, and go have a wonderful spring break. But, you know, we need them to come back here, you know, ready to go. And, uh, you know, that's what we just talked about, making great, great choices, great decisions, being safe and, and, and making the most of this week off. What was it about scheduling it that you wanted to do it this way where you got a few practices in there? You know, it was, I wanted to, to really kind of force, you know, force feed the beginning. And, uh, you know, to, you know, there was a couple factors, you know, just with how the calendar was laid out this year. Um, you know, we didn't want to have the spring game on Easter weekend, really. So it really forced us to push everything, you know, you know, up and I still wanted to make sure we got the, the eight weeks in the winter program and so you know as we looked at all that this provided an opportunity to, to kind of force feed the, the beginning um, but then we'll be it'll kind of get to a more consistent approach all the way up to the spring game so uh, probably more than what you care to hear but that's that's what it came down to. Is there an advantage to this break for the coaches in terms of to go back and reevaluate this film? And well, absolutely yeah absolutely you get to look you get to look back at you know four days and you know what were the steps that were seen in, in that four-day period of time, you know, maybe uh, when it comes to conceptually, when it comes to, you know, guys, you know, and their understanding of what they're what they're being asked to do, um, you know, there's going to be some some movement. You know, guys that perform consistent and well for four days, you know, they're going to continue to, to build in those reps. Or you might see guys that are, you know, maybe going with the second group, now jumping in more at the first group or, or uh, you know, vice versa. So, um, you know, it's, it'll be a good, good time for us to evaluate all that. Anything else for Jones? really good no, I mean he is you know he's had a good four days um, these last couple of days you know you uh, I thought you know coming out coming off of um, Wednesday's practice probably his best practice since he's been here I mean it was you, know, you saw rhythm you saw time you saw you know accuracy of the ball you know making quick decisions uh, you know even today you know some of those things showed up um, you know I have to go back and watch it just in, in detail to see you know, you know all of it but um, you know I just think that he's starting to emerge with that confidence and uh, you know, it's what we what we thought when we brought him here and you know you're seeing you're seeing him taking great strides really pleased with AJ Duffy what he did today I mean <clears throat> for a young freshman you know we have not we've not watered it down for him and you know his not to put this on him, but in a four-day period of time, I mean, his the retention and the understanding of some of the finer details, like it is exciting to where he can go. I mean, it's a we'll see. We'll see.